June 2019 New Zealand Trucking Magazine main test is the International Pro Star R6BT, 6x4 rigid bulk tipper, owned and operated by Triple M Cartage Limited of Rangaruri in North Waikato. Brand loyalty is something all suppliers strive for, the ultimate demonstration of a sound product backed by genuine people. And when it comes to New Zealand's unique enclave of the international brand, you won't find loyalty in much bigger doses than from Brian Aitchison of Triple M Cartage. I've got a hell of a lot of respect for those guys, said Brian. Coma, Hugh and all of that, we go a hell of a long way back. And I've bought a lot of gear off them over the years, you know. They're bloody top people, top, top people. And that is how our conversation with Brian Aitchison, owner of Rangaroo based Triple M Cartage started. Brian was at lengths to impress upon us from the start that what he thinks of the international product assembled and sold here in New Zealand, and the people who form the ranks in these parts behind one of the world's biggest and oldest and most respected brands. Standing back and looking at the truck, there is no question the ProStar ticks many of the 21st century boxes. It undoubtedly has a high social acceptance factor, with its clean lines and unobtrusive presence, and low on ostentatiousness. However, that is all the clever mask is underneath the hood, the driveline options tick all the right boxes, especially with the ProStar offering the big red X15 Cummins. This will surely win over customers looking for a North American with healthy productivity statistics, all the while packing a solid mechanical punch. Coupled up to the Euro 5 Cummins X15 is the Eaton 2 pedal Ultra Shift Plus 18 speed automated manual transmission, complete with a full suite of ADEP Smarts. Brian has gone with the engine re-rate option and the Triple M ProStar's Red Warrior pumps out 459 kilowatts, 615 horsepower at 1800 RPM and is producing 2780 newton meters, 2050 foot-pound of torque between 1100 and 1600 RPM. The front axle is the Meritor MFS 161438, wide track rated at 7.25 tonne with a 50 degree wheel cut on 3 leaf parabolic springs and shocks. The rear end features the trusty Meritor RT 46160 GP axles at 411 with independently operated interaxle and cross locks with the driven pair riding on IRIS 4 bag suspension. I drive it between 1550 and 1850 RPM said Brian. That's where I've been told to drive it for longevity, and the people who gave me that advice know their stuff when it comes to a Cummins. And it's proving itself in terms of economy as well. The engine must be happy because it's returning a steady 2.2 kilometres per litre, even this early in its life. The cab is a US house for sure with 10 gauges in front of the driver, all housed in an elegant round top cluster with a modular wrap housing switch gear, climate controls, brake valves and entertainment. The shift module in the ProStar is a push button job, just down to the driver's left, it's easy to see, very direct and works extremely well. The Triple M truck features the top trim package in grey tones with diamond pattern vinyl on the hood lining and the rear cab panel, along with flashes of rosewood within the dashboard, heavy wear plastics and rubber on the floor. It's the ideal setup for this line of work and requires minimal effort on a Saturday morning with the duster and a rag to tidy up ready for the next week's adventures. Brian says the torque is one of the truck's most impressive features, which is fair comment because even though he's choosing to operate it in the top half of the performance band, the engine is still almost at peak torque when Brian's bottom number of 1550 RPM comes up.
We've talked before about the performance of the Jacobs Interbrake and mid-range revs, delivering 336 kilowatts, 450 horsepower at 1500 RPM, and that's exactly where Brian uses it. Mate, I pay the bills and the engine brakes are not easy on engines, says Brian. I hear other drivers with the engines right at the top end of the rev range with their engine brake absolutely screaming. This is plenty good enough around 1500 RPM, and we certainly agree. There is absolutely no questioning International's mechanical tenacity when it comes to doing their best for their owner's bottom line. The emblem has a place in history few can match, let alone beat. Add to that the support from a group whose passion for what they do and the product that they provide has earned both themselves and the mark a very special place in the annals of New Zealand trucking history. It is very clear to see it is a case of long live the icon. So to get the complete picture on the purpose-built ProStar for Rangaruri based Triple M cartridge, then grab a copy and read the full story in the June 2019 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine, on sale now. Have a great month out there and travel safe.